Good morning. My name is Dr. Srivastava. I'm one of the doctors here on the ward. Mm -hmm. Can I just confirm your name and age, sir? Uh, Carl Gray. I'm 55. Okay. Nice to see you, Carl. Uh, I've been asked by one of my senior colleagues to come and have a chat with you. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time I'm actually seeing you myself. So just tell me about how you've been feeling recently and well, how you've I, been... I'm really worried about this ringing in my ears mm -hmm. um, that's come on since I've been in hospital. What's going on there? Mm. Okay, right. I will come back to the ringing in just a moment. Are you well otherwise? I know you were in pain earlier as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's certainly getting, I'm a lot better than I was when I came in. That's, that's, I see. Yeah. Okay. Right. So whilst you've been here, you've been receiving two different antibiotics uh, for the kidney infection. Now, I need to tell you that we have made an error. Okay. One of the antibiotics called gentamicin, you should have been receiving it every 48 hours. Okay. You've been here for three days. Actually, you've been receiving it every 24 hours. So what does that mean? So it's first of all too much antibiotic, which we will address. And secondly, it is most likely the cause of the ringing. You're joking me, aren't you? I come into hospital, I'm overdosed on something I shouldn't be overdosed on. I'm now left with this ringing in my ears and all because someone's made a mistake. Is that what I'm hearing from you? Because that shouldn't happen in hospital. I shouldn't get worse in hospital. I should get better in hospital. And this is annoying. I don't know whether you've had this, but this is annoying. I can see you're very angry, sir, and rightly so. Yeah, I am very and angry. And I just want to say, on the behalf of the department, we're very sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is not good enough now, is it? Mm -hmm. And it's not the department's done it, it's someone who's done it. Mm -hmm. Do we know who did it? So at the moment, no, okay, but with these kinds of errors, as a department, we take them very seriously and we look at all the systems that we use to see how the error could be minimised in the future. Yeah, but one okay. person is involved in this. One person must have written that down wrong or gave it me wrong. Mm. Do you know who that person is? I don't at this moment. And can you find out who that person is? I mean, we can do, but what would you like them to do. I think they should come to me personally. It's all right you apologising on behalf of the department, mm. but I think they need to come to me personally and apologise for what they've done. Okay. Will that happen? I can appreciate that request. I can't make that guarantee. In, like I say, in general, we as a department take responsibility for these errors. And myself coming to the bedside now and offering an apology is inclusive of the individuals this involved. is you again this is all you again isn't it you all keep your own backs you all mm -hmm. put this barrier around yourself don't you well i'm going to complain about this i'm going to make a complaint make no doubt about that mm -hmm. okay so i'd like to tell you a few things first of all we won't be obstructive at all if you'd like to make a complaint there is a formal process and we can signpost you to the relevant department good and I should certainly make that complaint. So how long is this going on for? If I'm honest, sir, I actually don't know. Okay, it's something I'm going to have to ask one of my more senior and experienced colleagues, and then we will get back to you on that one. Is there anybody in this place who knows what's happening? Someone over there is giving me a dosage I shouldn't have. You're sitting here now and you can't answer any of my questions. Does anybody here know what's going on? I'm going to make a complaint about this. I said, and I want financial compensation. Okay, so on that point in particular, I don't, we don't normally deal with that specifically. However, the same department where we will sign post you to, to make the complaint, they're the ones who you will obtain the medical information, the records, etc. And we will do everything we can to support you in that request for compensation. Okay. Now, I just, I would like to pause at this moment because those are things, of course, you're well within your rights to do. But just in this moment, there are a few things that we would like to do to make sure that you're safe going forwards. Because right, okay, cool. you're still in hospital. So, number one, of course, we have crossed it off the medication chart. Okay, just to be very clear. Now, we are thinking about an alternative antibiotic for you, but... 
you know, the blood test that you've had show that the kidney infection is improving. So soon you may well be able to go to oral antibiotics. Okay, so that's one part. The second thing is with gentamicin, we also, because we know that there are risks of side effects, uh, we check the levels in the blood to make sure that it's safe for us to give. And the most recent level that we took, I mean, I know you've had the tinnitus, the, the ringing, sorry, um, but the level at the moment means we don't have to do anything more with the gentamicin specifically. So you've stopped that? Yes. And okay. you've got my kidney infection. Yes, it's, uh, it's improving. And then you've left me with this. Yeah. Yes. Great job. Mm. So who do I complain to then? Yeah. So I'll just pause here. We, we've talked about what's happening now. Okay. I also just wanted to let you know that this department will make a report of this incident. Okay. So we will involve nurse in charge, medical consultant, and you know there's a formal reporting process. And the point of that is so that we can try and minimize the chances of this happening. And of course, that's for future patients. Okay. Now, you were asking about how to make the complaint. When you are well enough um, from the kidney infection and you're about to go home, we will give you the contact details for the patient advice and liaison service. Okay. And they will be your port of call. And they'll do the investigation. They'll find out everything about what's happened. So they will analyze the incident and give you the information you need right. but you mentioned the, the compensation that you will have to ask them right okay i will be doing that and there'll be no cover-ups will there no people no, will tell the truth won't they correct yeah <sighs> okay and then the last thing is once we have this evidence of harm from the antibiotic i appreciate the harm is already there but we do feel it's important that on discharge we refer you for a hearing assessment. Okay. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? So I appreciate the sentiment, but we think it's important that we see the degree of impairment and also the audiology team, they can advise you on how to manage that symptom yeah. and some coping strategies. Right, so what I need to do is go to this liaison service place mm -hmm. you're talking about. I don't want anybody to cover mm -hmm. anything up. I want you all to tell us the truth. Absolutely. We'll be as transparent as we need to and we'll get the information for you. Good. I'll give you some space, but if you have any other questions or would like to speak to me again or, um, or one of my senior colleagues, please just let us know. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Don't you worry. Okay.